Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're all really, really well. I hope the weather is really nice wherever you are and that you are able to enjoy it if it is nice. It's definitely getting warmer here on my side of the world, <laughs> finally, and I'm so happy about that. Um, so yeah, all right. Today's reading is going to be for divine soulmates, twin flames, where there is a karmic partner or situation involved. Um, I will be doing the reading as if it is on the masculine side because that's just what most people request. Um, but of course, it could be that the feminine is also involved in a karmic situation, relationship. So just take the messages as they resonate because oftentimes... Um, what comes through for the masculine's karmic situation can also apply for the feminine's, okay? Because we all have both feminine and masculine energies. So um, with that said, yeah, do keep in mind that the reading is general, so it's not going to resonate for each and every single one of you. Uh, if you'd like a personal reading or if you would like to donate to my channel, you can find all that information in the description box. And if you are interested in a cord cutting session, you can email me, email me about that. Um, one last thing before we get into the reading, just as a little heads up, I have avoided placing ads in the middle of my videos, um, but things are a little bit difficult at the moment. So I will be placing just one ad, okay? Just one ad um, somewhere in the middle. So just kind of letting you guys know that. And I think that is it. So let's get into the reading. We will be looking at the masculine's energy towards their karmic situation, as well as towards their feminine. And then we will look at the feminine's energy just a bit, as well as what might be coming up in the next week. So let's get a few Oracle cards to get the reading started for the masculine's. Let's see what is going on. All right, we have two. We have victory and we have broken heart. Okay, really, really interesting. So their heart is broken. All right. Um, I'm actually getting that this has to do with the karmic relationship. It's like there's this sense of victory in terms of you know, whatever, whatever it was that they were feeling, whatever pain they had associated with some kind of, you know, separation or whether that be for their own self or whether that be, um, you know, for pain that they might cause to others in the situation. It's like they're conquering that. They're conquering that, that broken heart um, or that pain that this might cause. All right, let's see. I'm just going to get one or two more. All right, and we have beginnings and self-reflection. Okay. So really what this is about is that the masculine is, I feel because they're coming to terms with whatever pain this might create or whatever difficulties this might create. Um, there's a lot of reflecting in terms of new beginnings like what will a new beginning be like um like really trying to assess that is what i'm getting so there's it's self-reflection because in terms of how they will feel about this and how they can deal with it or cope with it and how painful will it be but see we have victory as the first card out and so they're it's like they're feeling like they can be they can actually be successful at this, at having a new beginning. All right, so a lot of a lot of self-reflection, a lot of just reflecting on the situation, especially in terms of, of pain. And that this is something that is conquerable. So let's get into the tarot. And get a little bit more specific here. So let's see their general energy towards their karmic situation or partner. What is their general energy here? All right, we have the Hierophant in reverse, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, and the Six of Wands in reverse. Okay, so yeah, because what they are seeing is that this commitment here um, there has been an attachment, right? 
there has been an attachment and them not being separate from that, them not being able to stand on their own two feet and be just more reliant on their own selves rather than this commitment, that has been unsuccessful. So it really does feel like there's this, I mean, the, the attack, some attachment is still there, okay? Um, I have to say that. There is some attachment that is still there. But it's like with the Hierophant being in reverse, it's like there's a shift in terms of what they once believed about this connection or about this commitment. Kind of like, you know, the rules they were following or, you know, some kind of standards they were following. Um, it's like those don't apply anymore. Especially if it has to do with what other people would think. So for the masculine here in this group that may have been concerned about status and, you know, what is the right thing to do and what does society expect and how other people's view how other people view them it's like that no longer stands they're seeing that this was not not successful it ultimately did not lead to their happiness and i feel like this is similar to the um to the previous reading the collective reading that i did that was not specific to karmic situations um, because it was all about um shifting um, the cultural and social conditioning. So I feel like we're getting a similar message here. Okay, so let's see what's going on in their headspace. Okay, we have Temperance in Reverse, the Ten of Swords, and the Ten of Wands. Okay, wow. So two tens here, um, which obviously represent endings, right? The completion of cycles. Um, and we, But we do have temperance in reverse here. So I feel like this is actually some impatience, like feeling like, or thinking, you know, that time is passing, time is passing, time is not on their side, feeling an impatience for this to just be over with. But there's also a little bit of a dread. Um, yeah, they're feeling like it's conquerable, but there is still a little bit of dreading for this ending but it's like the longer they wait this is what this is something that they are consciously aware of is that the longer that they wait the more difficult it gets the more heavy the burden and it's just like dragging it out and carrying it on so let's see what's going on emotionally So when that happens, I can't remember if this happened in the last reading. I know it happened in some reading recently, but not sure if it was the collective or if it was in a personal. Uh, when we just get one card, that's like spirit really emphasizing that one card. All right. And it's the world upright. Emotionally, they're done. Like really done. On an emotional level, like it, this, this is complete. It's done. Um, I feel like there have also been a lot of lessons that have been learned. And it's like the masculine has been successful at learning those lessons. And that's also why we have victory as the very first card out. This group of masculines is definitely on the right path here. It might not seem like it to the divine feminine because, I mean, these things work in like mysterious ways. But they're on the right path here. So let's see if we get anything else here for their emotional space. All right, the Seven of Swords and Justice. Okay, wow. So because emo it's like emotionally they're feeling done, right? Like this is just not for me. This is not where my heart belongs. So because of that, they do feel like there is deceit that is happening. They feel like they are deceiving um, the karmic partner or the karmic situation because that's just not where their heart belongs. It's like they're just waiting for this ending. They're like dreading it, but they're also waiting for it, um, feeling impatient for it. And of course, I mean, it's in their hands, right? 
Um, I mean, I can imagine some of you watching this and being like, okay, well then if that's the case, then why don't they just do it? Yeah, well, that's a different story. Um, that's a different story. It's going to be for different reasons for each of them, right? They're obstacles. But what I'm getting here is that this masculine definitely feeling emotionally like this is done. Cycle is complete. And because of that, feeling like they are deceiving um, their karmic partner. And because of that, feeling like, you know, they want to make things right. They want to do what is right. They want to make a decision here. They want to do what is fair. And what is fair is to actually bring about that ending. Now, obviously, justice also does um, talk about legal matters. So, of course, for some of them who are married, this could also be, you know, feeling like they want a divorce, right, if they're married. Either way, wanting to make a major decision, that is going to be the right one because they are deceiving the karmic partner by actually being there. So... Let's clarify a couple of these. I mean, the messages were pretty clear, but maybe we'll get a little bit more detail on something here. Um, let's see that top row, which was, yeah, with the Hierophant and the Six of Wands in reverse, the Nine of Pentacles. So we have the Seven of Wands in reverse and the Four of Swords. Okay, yeah, so it's like their defenses are down at the moment in the good way is what I'm getting, all right? Because it's it's together with the Four of Swords, which is very, very healing, okay? So they, they have healed, again, anything in terms of what they believed, like the core beliefs that they were holding on to so stubbornly about um whatever right about commitment or about what they should be doing or who is right for them and who isn't it's like for a lot of them okay if, if this isn't marriage okay because i know for for a lot of them it is marriage but for some of them it's not um so for those who may have gone to a third party either because they are afraid of the connection with the divine feminine or because of lust um or anything like that for a lot of them it was because they felt like yeah you know this is just it just looks better on paper or um this is what i sh you know this is the type of connection that i should be with something that is you know lust based or um it just fits my superficial persona all right that's so that's what i'm saying with the seven of wands in reverse is that it's like they're releasing that they don't need to be defensive against their own self or, you know, towards what other people would think of them, right? Being more vulnerable to who they truly are. That's the healing that is happening here. It's to their own ego. It's like a removal of that ego, of that superficial persona. So for those who might be married or who might be in a more um, serious commitment, the same thing holds true, right? Except that it has to do with you know, what their core beliefs concerning commitment. So let's see the second row, which is then <laughs> oh, feeling impatient about this ending, but then also dragging it out because they're dreading it. Ace of Cups in reverse and the Knight of Swords in reverse. There's a lot of anxiety here. Um, obviously, with the Ace of Cups in reverse here, it's, you know, the, the, again, it's not where their heart belongs. They know this. They're very much aware of this. And that's why they're feeling this um, impatience towards bringing about the ending. Because it's like it, they're feeling this restlessness because their heart is so not in alignment with their situation and where they find themselves. Uh, but there's still anxiety surrounding this ending. And I feel like it's that anxiety 
which is also keeping them from um, bringing it on 100%. But again, if things are just getting, the, the longer they stay and the longer that they drag this out, the harder and harder that it gets to deal with it. That's the message here. Um, so I feel like this is something that they are becoming or have become very much aware of. That it's just getting harder and harder. So that's why they're, they're feeling restless. Like, okay, it's getting harder and harder. So, you know, let me just move towards this. Um, and then that makes them feel anxious, so they it's like this vicious cycle. So then they drag it out and... But again, it's like they're aware of that. There's a lot of self-reflection, let's not forget that. So they are aware of this. This is also in their headspace. Alright, so let's see this bottom row. Which is their emotional space. And we have the Hanged Man and the Empress. Okay, so it's pretty trying to tell me, yeah, they're not only deceiving the karmic partner, obviously, they're also deceiving their divine feminine. Um, they feel like justice is actually associated with their divine feminine, that that is what would be the right thing to do, and so they're feeling deceitful just overall. Um, it's like, yes, you know, emotionally it's done, as I said, with the world, but then with the hanged man, it's like, you know, not taking action on it. But at the same time, again, there's a lot of assessment that is happening. It's like assessing this emotional ending that they are feeling in order to be able to put it into practice. So I'm not saying this to sugarcoat or to, you know, like give hope, oh yeah, you know, like it's coming, it's coming. And I know that for a lot of feminists who watch my videos, like you're not in that space anyway of you know, obsessively waiting. This is just what I'm seeing, so this is what I am, I am saying. And to be honest, I mean, I don't know how long they're going to stay in this type of an energy for. What I do see though, is that there's a lot of reflection, assessing, and feeling like, okay, it is, it is more doable than, than they thought it was in the past. It's like the resistance is down. The self-defense mechanism is down, which is good. All right, so let's see their general energy towards their feminine. So we have two, we have the King of Swords and Temperance. Let me get one more. Okay, two more. The Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Swords. Okay, so I feel like for the most part, the masculine is either keeping their distance or um, just not really like expressing much, okay, at the moment. Some of you might be in communication, others of you are not in communication, obviously, um, but even for those of you who are in communication, I feel like there might be some kind of a distance that you might be feeling from the masculine. And I feel like this is because the masculine is actually consciously, deliberately, um, trying to moderate themselves or trying to pace themselves because they want to avoid any conflict. They, they don't want to, um, like if things, if things between the two of you are, have come to some kind of, um, how do I say this? Some kind of like a constant, like steady state. It's like they don't want to mess that up. So they're not going to fully disclose either what they're feeling about you, thinking about you, or about their karmic situation. Um, 
Yeah, I'm getting like, they, it's, it's almost like they, they just don't want to disturb the peace at the moment as they are assessing. But it's, it's interesting because they're also assessing the connection with you. And they're assessing how they could make a shift. What this change in their lives would be like. And also thinking about, you know, how their lives would be actually more peaceful than what it is now. All right, let's see what else. Let's see what's going on in their headspace. And I do feel like, you know, there is some kind of a shift here that's happening in their energy towards you. And I feel it's... Um, It's more peaceful than before. So I'm going to have space. Let's see. All right. Four of Swords in reverse, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Seven of Swords in reverse. Hmm. Their minds are restless, though. Their minds are restless. Again, thinking about a new beginning with you, right? That's why we have that beginnings card here. It's like really assessing that. And I feel like they're really assessing their own self um, in terms of how they could be, how they would be in this new potential or, you know, new kind of a beginning with their feminine. And it could be that for a lot of them, they're thinking like they're not... Um, either that they're not healed enough or they're just like not sure of their own self um, because they definitely know what they're thinking is that in order to have this with you they would need to you know be as non-deceitful as possible And it's almost as if, like, they don't trust themselves. Not in terms of being unfaithful to their feminine. That's, I mean, it could be for some of you, but that's not what I'm getting. It's more of just not trusting themselves, like, if they are healed enough. Hmm. And that could mean a number of things. Um, it could be, you know, whether... You know, everything can stay peaceful, for example, um, if things will be 100% resolved with the karmic situation, you know, in terms of not, not whether they're done with it, they could be done with it, but then there could be other issues that arise from that situation, or, I mean, it could just be about anything. So, but what's important here, like the takeaway from this is that they're assessing, they're assessing what that new beginning would be like. And I feel like they're actually assessing um, certain issues that could arise that they would want to avoid. So let's see emotionally. All right. The Page of Swords in reverse, the Ten of Swords, and the Empress in reverse. What the hell is going on here? Wow. Okay, really interesting because they're sitting here thinking about this new beginning with the feminine, but then emotionally they're feeling like, like it's done. They're feeling, and they're feeling a lot of pain. Because, see, for the, for the um, karmic partner, we have that Ten of Swords in their headspace, like dreading that ending, right, just in, in, in their thoughts. But for the feminines, for their divine feminines, they're actually feeling that. They're feeling that ending. They're feeling that dread. They're feeling that pain. And feeling like they have lost you. Okay, so maybe this is for a very specific group of you. Um, and it's like they're feeling like they don't know what to do about it. We're going to clarify. Like, really, I just want to clarify this bottom row. 
because everything else seems pretty clear. So yeah, let's see. Let's see this bottom row. The moon in reverse. Um, I feel like there's something here that... Okay, so for some of them, it's something that they have found out about the feminine. Um, maybe, you know, you're doing really well, or maybe you're moving on, or maybe you're just detaching, right, from the, from the outcome here. Um, the masculine is definitely picking up on that, on whatever that is. It's like it's coming to the surface, and it's, yeah, kind of freaking them out a little bit. Um, it's like it's making them doubt. But I feel like they're not, I don't know if they're very accurate in the way that they are assessing this situation. Um, and actually what I'm getting with this Page of Swords in, in reverse is that they're really interested to find out what exactly is going on. Or they have found out something that they just, you know, it doesn't sit really well with them. And it's creating this pain or making them feel like, you know, you're, you might be moving on. Um, again, I feel like this is just going to be for a specific group of you. For others of them, this could be about, um, this could be a certain conversation that may have taken place, but they're definitely feeling some pain here. And I mean, it could just be the pain of not having you, but I feel like there's something more to it. Let's see, let's see the 10 of swords. All right, we have the Five of Swords in reverse, the Queen of Swords, and the Page of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. Hmm. For some of them, It could go either way. For some of them, it, it has to do with them feeling like they have betrayed you. And for others of them, they're feeling not necessarily betrayed because obviously, I mean, they're the ones, they're also in a, in a um, other commitment of some sort, right? Um, but feeling like in a way that it's like a betrayal, right? Like if you have detached or if you're moving away, even though they know that that's that that doesn't make sense to see it that way, but it's still, it's still painful. I, I feel like they feel like you're just not giving as much to this as before and that's shaking them up. Let me see the Empress in reverse. Alright, the Queen of Cups in reverse. And the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so the masculine is feeling you pulling away, basically, um, in one way or another, even if it's not like completely, okay? Because um, I don't think it would be completely if you're watching this video. Could be, but for the most part, I think that you're just, you know, detaching, basically. You're just pulling away. And but the masculine is taking this a little bit more heavily, you know, than what it actually means or than what actually, you, you know, you're doing. It's, it's hitting them really, really hard. Like they're, they're feeling like this possibility of losing you is real. Like it's, it's, it's really hitting home. So yes, still assessing what it would be like to have a new beginning with you, but then also feeling like they might have lost you. So that could go back to why they're feeling this um, impatience here. And I feel like actually this does coincide. Like the more done that they feel emotionally with the karmic partner, like the more that they're going to feel this um, threat of losing their divine feminine. Well... It is what it is, right? All right, so let's get just a couple cards for the feminines. All right, 
and we have Angel of Balance. have two here we have um, action and we have focus okay yeah so the feminines wow you're finding your inner balance basically or you're able to balance your emotions what you're feeling um, with you know what's going on in your external world so in other words it's like because sometimes our emotions can get the better of us and then it affects our environment it affects it affects the way that we do things in the material world right um you're finding that balance it's like you're able to focus and take action towards your own goals and even if you are still having emotions that are difficult concerning this situation that's the message i'm getting here if you don't feel like you're in that space I feel like, you know, this is this is the encouragement. This is what spirit is trying to tell you, you know, to find that balance. It's okay to still have emotions that are difficult to deal with. You can still achieve goals. You can still focus on what it is that you need to focus on outside of this. So I'm just going to get three tarot cards for the feminines and if you are doing this well then that explains why the masculine is feeling the, the way that they're feeling emotionally here Ooh, the king of cups the chariot in reverse and the two of wands okay so yes the the feminine is moving towards emotional stability here you're finding that emotional balance this is exactly what i was just saying and that's coming from it's like um coming from this space of not being in a rush anymore being more accepting of the situation feeling emotionally more okay and more balanced with where this situation is at the current time i mean even with this with this two of wands and, and right after the chariot being in reverse, it's like, it's not waiting. It's not like this obsessive waiting. No, it's like, it's like, okay, not giving energy to this, like just taking a step back from the situation, not feeling that sense of urgency or rush for this to come to be. Some of you might even be making like other decisions here. Having taken a big step back from this connection. But again, it's like you, it's like you're in balance. You're doing that from a place of alignment. And again, if you feel like you're not in that space, I feel like that's what you are moving towards. That is where your soul is guiding you. To just take a step back and just, you know, not, not feel a rush for this. Okay, so let's, um, let's see what is coming up in the next week or so. Masculines towards their karmic situation or partner here. What is coming up in the next week or so? We have the Six of Swords in reverse, the Two of Swords, and the Chariot in reverse. Okay, so I still see them being in this situation, okay? And then, I mean, and time is relevant. It doesn't have to be a week. I mean, obviously, um, yeah, time is an illusion. There's a lot of contemplation that is happening here. Um, a lot of contemplation. I, I feel like they're they're moving towards this um, state of being a little bit a little bit confused as in terms of what to do, but I definitely feel like the the peace or whatever peace might have been found um, in the situation with the karmic, like just kind of things being at like some steady kind of pace as well. I feel like that is going to be disturbed 
in some way. And the reason why it's going to be disturbed is because the masculine is going to be in this energy of, okay, you know what, like, I need to make a decision here. Um, yeah, that's, that's the energy that they're going to be in. That's what it is. So, um, yeah, let's see for their feminines. Actually, like with this, with the chariot in reverse for them, it's like coming in as a little bit chaotic. A little bit chaotic. I feel like there's some um, something that, like I said, it's like the peace is going to be disturbed. There's something that is going to be like, a, there's going to be like a conflict between them and the karmic partner, all right, if it's a partner. But it's going to feel like things are losing, are, like they're losing control. Like things are getting a little bit chaotic between the two of them. Almost like I'm, I'm actually getting <clears throat> like a more rushed. So it's like would be the opposite of what I was saying before. But it's more rushed, but just in a way that is chaotic though. It's like the extreme. Which isn't, it's not good. I'm not saying that <laughs> as a positive actually, because <clears throat> yeah, so it, it feels more, it feels like a to be continued kind of an energy here. Um, spirit leaving us hanging. Yeah, but that's, that's what it's going to be like. Okay, let's see for their energy towards their feminine. Coming up. have the ace of swords in reverse the two of swords again and the devil in reverse okay yeah so there's not much action i feel like it's more of like a panicky kind of a thing um because it's kind of similar it, it's like it makes sense here that towards the karmic partner it's like i don't know i don't know what to do like i need to make a decision you know we're not agreeing the peace is disturbed um who knows what's happening here and then with their feminine, again, this two of swords, like knowing that they need to make a decision. But the good thing here, they're not taking action, okay, with the ace of swords being in reverse, not just yet. Um, but they are resolving some fears. Removing some fears. And I feel like that's actually coming from, from that assessment. From that assessment, so removing the fears of possibly of, of the you know what a new beginning would be like with the feminine, but not taking action yet. I feel like there's still a lot of doubt concerning what you are doing, because they're feeling this pain. They're feeling like they may have they may have lost you. So yeah, um, there's a lot of thinking basically. Less action, more thinking is what I'm getting here coming up. So yeah, that's that's what it is. So let's get a couple of oracle cards to close this out. And we have round and round, imagine, and to be fair. So again, I feel like it's basically what I just said. <laughs> it's round and round. Like there's just a lot of round and round that's happening in their mind right now. A lot of imagining, you know, just really assessing what it would be like um, to move away from the karmic situation, feeling like it's something more doable. That's why they find themselves in this two of swords because it's like, okay, I really need to think about this and make a decision. Really imagining what that new beginning would be like um, with the feminine and then closing it off to be fair. This is like the justice card. Wanting to make that final decision, the right one, the one that is fair for everybody involved. Right? To not be deceitful in any way. So, this is what they're moving towards. This is what Spirit is saying, that everything is moving in that direction, at least for this group here. Um, either way. So, yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. 
So I thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys soon. Much love.